Hello everyone. Now we are checking this latest software for the data recovery equipment. So this is a DFL DDP data recovery equipment. Now let's have a quick review on the common firmware repair solutions for, uh, within the DFL DDP data recovery equipment. And on the left side, and we can check the first one, the first column is the ATA commands, soft reset, hard reset, and the recalibrate and standby. These two are used for the hot swap. And the security set password and security unlock. So users can use the DDP to set as password for the drive to protect the data. So this one is helpful for uh, um, the data recovery engineers. Now, I think you there's know how to use this one. Just simply uh, input the password to set as a password for the drive, okay? And remove the password here. And if users forget this password, then users can use the function here, remove the password without password. Or if users forget this password. Okay, now let's continue to check the common fast solutions for the Western Digital. And we can see these are the most common solutions available within the Western Digital Fast Solutions for the Common Firmware Corruption. And for Seagate, we can see here. And for Western Digital, okay, uh, there are some more. And we can see the microcode option and the edit head map in RAM and node T2. And this one is mainly used for the Western Digital SMR hard drives. You know, sometimes when uh, drives have all sectors zero, and we can try to get as T2, or we repair the module one lightly, and then extract the module T2 to node here. And we can note one light in here too, but note T2 is obviously faster, okay? The T2 is smaller, much smaller than the model T model 190. And T2 is part of the 190. And here the repair 190. And this is one very helpful and powerful uh, Module 190 repair utility, and users can uh, select select the module 190 to import module 190 to repair, and we can uh, see we can scan the loads and find wrong loads and then it wrong loads and then it the duplicate and redundant nodes and there are many options to get the module 190 repaired and then after to repair the module 190 and users can uh, save okay uh, can save the nodes to one new module 190 or can export So this one is very uh, convenient and powerful within the DFL DDP to repair the module 190. And this one is very important to recover lost data from the Western Digital SMR hard drives. And this one, the change disk configuration, this one is mainly used for uh, uh, fixing the snow problem within the SMR hard drives. This one is also very easy to use. Now Seagate, we can see these are the quick common firmware repair solutions here for many firmware corruption. Users just need one click to fix the issue 
then para, para, then the drive get restored. This are for the old drives for the Barracuda, a seven to Barracuda ten, and Samsung, and we can see the LED arrow near the inist and the Samsung like the genist. And uh, reset smart, remove password. So it's, it's Samsung common firmware repair solutions and Toshiba. And for the genist issue, clear it and translator regeneration. The virtual translator, this one, it's also very easy to use. And this is a virtual translator for both 2.5 and 3.5 hard drives of the Hitach. This one is actually to note as pianist. So, so, so to use this function, sometimes users need to use this function together with the Hitach from a repair software. Now, besides these common from a repair solutions, these quick buttons, and users can uh, use the DFDDP to image or extract the lost data from the 40 drives with weak heads or with bad sectors. Now we can see this is a method how to start one disk image project. Here, user can select whether you wish to image the drive or extract the lost data directly from the drive. Uh, mostly we use the disk image. If here's the VHD, we can select. Because the VHD is smaller than this new drive, because this new drive is 6 TB, and the, virtue, the VHD is small, Now we can see this is a source drive and this is a target drive and a head map we can here, we can set up head map here. You know, sometimes when the pension drive has weak heads, then we can set up the head map here to image the good heads and then image the weak heads. And also here is the disk image settings. We can see if users wish to have faster imaging speed users need to untick this one and can change the read block size something like 1 to 1024 okay 1024 and we can use this one and read notes error handling timeout head map so this one note to two, you know, this is noted to, to the RAM and noted to automatically if we use this one, this one for SMR drives. And this one is not the SMR drive, so we don't need to use this one, okay? So if users wish to run the disk image, users can set all the parameters properly here and start the disk image. If the pension job has weak heads or bad sectors, users need to try to use the head map and to image good heads and then image weak heads. And here, users can make best use of the multi pass image together with the head map image. For example, uh, the first parts, users can image good heads. Then second parts, users can um, to image the weak heads. So this one need to, you know, users need to combine these settings for the best result. Okay. Now, if users wish to extract the source data directly from this drive, then users simply, okay, disk image and file extraction, 
can switch between the disk image and the file extraction very easily. Now we can see here if the partitions are not displayed here and we can try to right click the DFL device and to scan lots of partitions and you know we can see all the options all the menus here available to help the users to extract the lost data for the best result so this is the disk image and this is a file extraction interface and this is a available menus the, all these settings and menus are created for the best data recovery success rate. And if users wish to, you know, during the image or file extraction, in case there is some kind of firmware corruption or some kind of firmware problems occurs, so users can go to the general menu so we can find it, find these common quick solutions to come from a repair pro, uh, the firmware problems. They can fix the common firmware issues here. After the fix, we can go back to the window and select the pension drive, select the task, and then we can start the extraction or disk image again without any interruption so this one is very convenient to use the to for the a window menu okay within the window we can go to general menu here and we can go to the disk image project or go to the file extraction project so it's very easy to use the DFL DDP for either disk image or file extraction. So this is a video introduction for the latest software for the DFL DDP.